Hey beautiful people, it is your girl Shana Navassier. This is episode one officially of my new podcast called You Just Might Like It. Long time no here, don't worry. I'll be updating you all with what's been going on in my life in the past few years in a separate video very soon. But today's video is going to be about my new podcast called You Just Might Like It, where I'll be bringing some guests over to my home and we'll be trying different vegan plant-based restaurants here in the Atlanta area and I'll be asking them if they just might like it. Now, my guests are either you know, meat eaters or animal eaters or people who have tried veganism and went back to eating meat. And I just want to introduce you guys to some different alternatives for vegan plant-based foods and also my guests as well. So we'll be playing some trivia, we'll be playing some games, it's going to be so much fun. So I hope that you stay tuned for all of it. If you haven't already done so, be sure to subscribe to my channel so that you won't miss a video I upload. You just might like your podcast every single Wednesday. I'm going to try and do it around a lunch time or dinner time so you guys can eat with me or something of that sort. It could be a nice little mukbang and talk and you know just hear what my guests have to say about the conversations that we're engaging in and just see if you just might like it and come to Atlanta and try some of these restaurants. It's going to be featuring mostly black owned restaurants because I have to support my people. Love black owned restaurants and I am in the Mecca. Of and I am in the heart of black owned restaurants. Here. featuring restaurants in the Atlanta area and mostly black owned restaurants because I really do want to support my people as much as I can and there are so many beautiful black owned restaurants here in the Atlanta area I just want to make sure that I'm featuring them and allow you guys to check them out because I think that they're really amazing they have great customer service and they have some really amazing food so anytime you're in the Atlanta area be sure to save this video in a nice little playlist so you can have a, like, a nice list of restaurants for you to try, okay? So my featured restaurant for today is going to be Grass VBQ. They are located in the heart of Atlanta. Nice little drive from up north where I'm at, but it was all good. I absolutely am so excited of all the places that I've had in Atlanta. This is the place I've always wanted to try. You know, having barbecue as a vegan is very challenging. So when I saw this spot, I was like, oh, I gotta try it. And so um, I always send my um, co-host a list of restaurants to try from, and nobody picked this one. I was like, what are you guys thinking? Like, try the barbecue spot, but it was somewhere that I wanted to go. So I knew I was gonna have um, this, this restaurant on probably as one of the first videos. So Grass BBQs, I got a few, items from them yes it's going to just be me eating today but uh, the idea of the podcast is to get quite a few items whether it be appetizers on uh, appetizers entrees um desserts if possible and drinks if they have anything and that aren't like soda and stuff like that because I, I don't drink stuff like that and drinks and just bring them onto the show and get a nice variety of food for you guys to see what all the restaurant has to offer so um i got two entrees i believe uh two sides and maybe i got three <laughs> i think i may have gotten three entrees whatever i just wanted to show you guys what they had and i just it's an hour drive guys so i just wanted to make sure that it was worth it okay <laughs> so i got quite a few things from them i'll let you guys see what they have i'll have their socials as well as their website listed in the description box so you can be sure to check them out it was a smooth drive um they do have online delivery so let me just briefly give you my journey to veganism Like I said, I began my vegan journey in 2019. And at first what I did in 2018 when I was trying to become vegan, I slowly transitioned by eliminating eating meat on the weekdays. I can't remember, me and my girlfriend worked together. We were in the office at that time. And we both were like, okay, 
we're gonna not eat meat either not on the weekends or not on the weekdays but it was one of those but we still had meat um during the week somehow so that was our way of doing it so we did that for probably like three months three four months or something like that and then it became a lot more easier to just give meat up so then I was vegetarian for a while and I still ate my cheese and my eggs and stuff like that. But I've gotten more familiar with making meals that weren't, that didn't have meat in them. And so at first what I just did is just order sides from all of the restaurants and anywhere that I went. I didn't make it complicated, which I still don't. Um, I'll always find a way. Like uh, veganism is becoming more and more popular and so a lot more restaurants are starting to have vegan, um, vegan food. And so um, did that, did vegetarian for quite a while, probably like a, a full year or so. It took me forever to give eggs up and cheese, I can't lie. Um, well, the butter thing too, but I cut milk out like super early in my, um, my vegan vegetarian journey. The milk thing, once once I learned like all the stuff with the cow's milk, not trying to not trying to gross you out because this is a podcast about food, but I'm just saying once I learned about all of that, I was like, nope, not doing cow's milk anymore. I'm not supposed to be drinking that. It's not. Yeah, I just cut I cut the milk out really quick. The cheese, again, it once you know what these things are, it's a lot more easier to cut them out. And so, of course, there's a, a whole bunch of documentaries out there on Netflix and other streaming services, which let you know what they're doing to these meats and these foods and all that stuff. So, so anyway, that's how I became vegetarian. And then slowly, um, I, I think it was like 2020, 2020 or so, I finally gave up eggs. I remember having my last bit of eggs and I was like, okay, after this, I'm fully vegan. <laughs> Because I just love me some eggs, especially in the morning or whatever, but I understand how cool that is now or whatever. But anyway, it's all about your own separate journey. So a lot of my guests that you'll see on you just might like it. You know, there's no judgment with me. Um, all of my friends know that you have a, a safe space within my home, within me. Everything is confidential. There's no judgment. You know what I'm saying? Like. I'm not a judgy vegan. I'm very much like very laid back, chill. Your journey is your own. I just want to introduce you to some foods that you might want to consider trying. That's literally what you just might like it is. It's just like, maybe you don't know what other food selections are out there. So let me introduce you to some stuff that you can try and see if maybe in your hometown, they may have a vegan restaurant and you might be like, oh, maybe I'll try the this burger, or quinoa, or you know, chickpeas, this, or so on and so forth. So it's really just trying to help people get the idea of veganism and let you understand it's not just salads and eating french fries. Like we be eating, hashtag we be eating. <laughs> I know Tab, uh, Tabitha has that hashtag too. Like we be eating, we eat very good. So that's been my journey. Um, deficiencies, yes, I've had deficiencies. Yes, I've had uh you know uh check-ins where i'm like okay i'm deficient in this let me crank this up now i know a lot of people don't do this but i know that i don't eat everything that i need to eat in my vegan journey to not have to take supplements so i'm an advocate for vegan plant-based really good healthy supplements so i do take supplements along with eating vegan, okay? Uh, just to make sure that I'm not depleting myself of any nutrients. Now, I know that there are some vegans who are strictly against supplements and things of that sort. I'm still on my journey. And that's also... And also guys, I have a cat. His name is Nano. We'll do a whole video on it, but he's just sitting on the table right now because he's just, he wants to be in the mix, okay? I don't allow him on my counters and stuff, but this is this is kind of our chill table or whatever. So, so the supplements, yes. So the supplements that I take help me to not be deficient, and I'm still working out the kinks on how to eat all the things I need to within a day to be able to not have to uh, take those supplements and whatnot. Again, everyone's journey is their own. I am judgment free. So you'll see that on my podcast. Some of my drink, some of my guests drink. I don't care. Some of my guests cuss, I don't care, because guess what, I swear too, I cuss all the time. And one thing I wanna say about this return, 
and the Chanel Devassier that you will be seeing is I am raw, uncut, genuine in myself. So this may not be for your children. This may be a late at night show. This may be something that you may not want to watch if you don't like harsh or swear words, okay? Because I cuss in real life and that's just who I am. I am coming back to YouTube as myself, being genuine, putting myself out there, letting you guys see who I currently am. I have transformed so much. I have evolved, forgive me. I have evolved so much since you last since you've last seen me. So this return means a lot to me. I'm really excited and really giddy. Um, yeah, you know, you, I hope that you love it. And if you don't, I understand. If you don't wanna watch or follow me anymore, I understand. Know that I appreciate you for being here with me and in my family, my tribe that has supported me thus far. I love you, I appreciate you, but I have evolved and I have to come back as myself. I struggled with this for years and I was like, do I come back? And like, I feel like Chanel Devasi is such a clean cut name. And I'm like, I'm doing everything to break that ceiling because you can't put me in a box. I am a multi-dimensional human being and you're going to see that on this show. So that's something else that you'll see and you just might like it. Love it or hate it, I'm 100% going to be myself. Yeah. And this is Nano, and he wants to go for a walk, so we'll be right back. One hour later. All right, so I warmed the food up, and everything is looking so delicious. So I just took half of most of the sandwiches. I have the oyster mushroom po'boy sandwich. If I said it wrong, I'll have it on the screen here. And then I have the brisket barbecue sandwich with slaw. And I've never had slaw before in my life, whether it be vegan or non-vegan, so this is going to be interesting. And I went ahead and just warmed the whole Sloppy Joe sandwich up because it was it was kind of like messy or whatever, which is great because it's sloppy joe. It's supposed to be messy. So I have that on my plate and I put my fries in the air fryer and I rewarm my oyster mushrooms in the air fryer. If you don't have an air fryer, honey, let me tell you right now, go get you an air fryer, okay? It saves your meals really easily and it's it still makes it taste really good if you warm it back up. I also warmed my mac and cheese back up and my greens, okay? Because between driving, doing this intro and all of that, it took a little while. And I like my food piping hot or else I can't eat it. Can't do cold food. Anyway, without further ado, I'm going to try each of these dishes and let you know what I rate. I'm going to try one of the oyster mushrooms first. Mmm, mmm, pretty good. This is really good. This is a little thicker than my usual oyster mushrooms. It's very good. It feels really thick. Um, and I feel like they fried it in uh, cornmeal, which is interesting. Very good though. All right, so that was very good. Um, mildly flavorful. The bread had like a nice French bread taste to it. Uh, nice and soft. The oysters were pretty good. Not overly seasoned. Just about right. The fries were really good. Love the fries. I'm going to get into the sloppy joe <laughs> and see what it do. I love sloppy joe. So. It has melted vegan cheese on it as well. Mmm. Wow. Very bold, which is what you want from a sloppy joe. Very nice. Beautiful barbecue sauce. I'm getting a sweet and tangy barbecue sauce from this. It tastes great. It tastes really good. Okay, so the barbecue brisket um, is decent. I can't necessarily get too much into the sandwich because I asked for no slaw. Um, I don't particularly like white stuff. I've never ate any white stuff. And what I mean by white stuff is mayonnaise, mayo, uh, sour cream, cottage cheese, any, it's texture, okay? It's texture and it's the smell. I don't wanna get too deep into it. No, it's not psychological. I just never have to eat. If you know me, you already know this. I don't eat white stuff. So there was slaw on this and it had white stuff. Now I understand it's vegan slaw, but it's a mental thing for me, so don't judge me. <laughs> so I took a bite of it. I didn't particularly care for it, but I did try to go in brazen and 
repeat the whole thing with the slaw. Now, this is a beautiful piece without the um, slaw on it, so I'm gonna just give it a try. Um, I feel like it has slaw on it, but it's different. Yeah, it does taste like beef a little bit. I'm not sure which meat substitute they use for this. Yeah, it's cool. If you like brisket, 100% will like that, okay? So I've tried the sandwiches, I've tried the fries. I'm gonna give my two sides a try. I have mac and cheese and I have collard greens. I'll let you know how these are tasting. <laughs> I'm excited about this. cheese has a definite different acquired taste. I've had plenty of vegan mac and cheeses. So that one was decent. I'm going to give these collard greens a try. Oh my god. This is the best thing on the menu. Oh my. Wow. These taste amazing. Mmm. All right, so now I'm going to rate my dishes. My favorite by far was the greens, okay? They were smacking. Definitely 10 out of 10 for those, okay? So I will be back 100% for some greens. And then the mac and cheese, I'm gonna give this a two. Um, again, I've had vegan mac and cheese before, but I didn't particularly care for this one. Um, I could tell the vegan cheese that they used on it. I do prefer more of a creamier, mac and cheese a little bit more you know just creamier just gooier than this um but it's vegan so it is what it is uh you know it's a great substitute from using milk so i'll give it a two and that's just my honest critique on it so next up i'm going to rate the oyster mushroom oh boy it was Decent. I'm gonna give it a five out of ten. It wasn't that flavorful, but it was really good. The oysters were uh, oyster mushrooms. I have a hard time saying that for some reason. The oyster mushrooms uh, felt thick and meaty, which is nice. I've made oyster mushrooms in my air fryer before. Superb, 100%. So tastes really good. It was paired with some spinach, um, some pickles in there, and I feel like some sort of lettuce. And tomato I'll have everything that was actually in the sandwich listed down below I did like it um, it was just decent for me so I give that a 5 out of 10 the bread was really good nice and flavorful I felt buttery if that makes sense there is vegan butter out there as well so I'm gonna give the uh, po' boy a 5 out of 10 and the next dish that I'm going to rate is the brisket now it wasn't my fave I am <laughs> Not really a huge brisket fan. My dad used to love brisket, and so I just thought I would give it a try. And I do like barbecue, so I'm going to give this a, I'm gonna give it a four out of 10. I know that seems a bit harsh, but if you like brisket, it's a great alternative. However, I felt like there could have been more sauce on it. I'm not a fan of slaw, which is why I asked for it on the side. And unfortunately, the, re the restaurant didn't follow those instructions, but that's fine. Um, it still was a, a lovely dish, but I'm gonna give it a four out of 10. And lastly, my favorite, the Sloppy Joe. 10 out of 10, okay. I'm gonna give the Sloppy Joe a 10 out of 10. That rates all the dishes. The fries were great. I would give them an eight out of 10, 100%. Really good fries, very flavorful. Um, they had a little bit of seasoning in it. They weren't like overcooked or anything like that. So I really did like the fries. 
that pretty much wraps up all the food choices that I had. Let me know if you've ever had grass or BBQ and please do check them out. Don't take my critiques for like, oh, I'm not gonna try that restaurant. These are just my opinions on the dishes that I tried. Could have been hit or miss. And again, I do live far away. So if I would have had fresh in the restaurant, it could have been a different situation. So, But still support black owned businesses and also make sure that you do check out grass BBQ. So, so I'm gonna play some trivia with you guys. If you don't mind, it's gonna be a little bit of fun so you can either write your answers down or you can just play on the screen if you want I'll have the questions and the answers lit, lit up I'll give you 30 seconds and then the answer will be revealed so it's a fun way for us to connect you can write your answers down in the comment section if you like and also let me know if you like this on the segments where it's just you and I yeah, I will be playing games with y'all, okay? A hundred percent. My guests and I will be playing games as well, but this is just to give you a feel for what you can expect from me. You just might like it on the trivia segment. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into some trivia. And we are back for the second segment of the show. This is going to be Black Card Trivia. I'm going to be asking you a question. And I will give you 30 seconds to answer it. You don't have to play or you can if you want to. You can either write them down or just hold them in your, in your mind. I'll have multiple choice listed on the screen and I'll read them. Give me 30 seconds and then I'll let you know what the answer was. So it's just a fun way for us to connect. These are black trivias. I did get them from a game that I ordered online. So these are not my questions. I ordered them from a game that was already pre-made on Amazon. So just know that that's where these are coming from and everything that I'm asking is all in fun. It is not like race centered or anything crazy like that. So just relax, okay? And have a good time. All right, question number one. What does TWA stand for? Tight wavy afro, tailored wavy and all natural, treated washed and all natural, or teeny weeny afro? All right, time is up. The correct answer is the last answer. Teeny Weeny Afro is what TWA stands for. So if you, if you guess that, you guess correctly. All right, question number two. He's the head of the Cash Money Brothers. A, G Money, B, Nino Brown, C, Kareem Akbar, or D, Big Chris. You guessed B, Nino Brown, you are correct. That is the head of the Cash Money Brothers, all right? All right, question number three. According to Wyclef Jean, on the song 911, how tall was the alleged assailant? A, 6'1", B, 5'1", C, 5'3", or D, 6'3". If you guess B51, you are correct. That is the correct answer. All right, if you're still hanging in there, make sure that you subscribe so you can stay tuned for more videos like this. And without further ado, let's go on to question number four. Now, this question is pretty much a majority question. I think it's depending on the individual. I don't think this is something that, you know, is right or wrong but it has a final answer. So this is just based on their votes or whatever. So just keep that in mind. Question number four, finish the phrase. Don't come for me. And then A is until I come for you. B is period poo. C is unless I sin for you. Or D is none of the above. Yeah. What 
if you guess C, unless I send for you, then you are correct. And it's not to come for me if I don't send for you. <laughs> so that is the correct answer. All right, question number five. On the movie The Wood, what was Slim's real name? A, Ladarius, B, Levante, C, Lavinio, or D, Slim was his real name? All right, if you guessed C, Lavinio, then you are correct. I may be butchering that. I'll have to do a Google pronunciation, but it is C, then you are correct. All right, next question. I hope y'all are enjoying this. On the show Fresh Prince, what's Jeffrey's middle name? A, Philip, B, Butler, C, Barbara, D, Ramon. Ramon. Which one is it? All right, so if you guess C, Barbara, you are correct. Jeffrey from the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air's middle name was Barbara. Interesting. All right, next question. On the movie Friday, what was Smokey's mama's name? A, Joanne, B, Pamela, C, Deborah, or D, Arlene? you guessed A, Joanne, you are correct. You know your stuff. That is the correct answer. Smokey's mama's name from Friday was Joanne. Next question, we're gonna move over to some black history questions. I hope you're ready. The next question is, what was Malcolm X's birth name? Frederick Williams, B, Malcolm Poole, C, Malcolm Little, or D, Malcolm Shabazz? All right, if you guessed Malcolm Little, you are correct. Malcolm X's birth name was Malcolm Little, but he changed his name to Malcolm X after becoming a member of the Nation of Islam. All right. All right, the next one, I'm sure you guys got this. All right, so the question is, what box's original name is Cassius Clay? A, Muhammad Ali. B, Sugar Ray Robinson. C, Mike Tyson. Or D, George Foreman. Someone's really ready for me to be done. So I'm gonna wrap this up. If you guessed A, <laughs> Muhammad Ali, then you are correct. Last question of the Black Heart Trivia for this round is going to be, who funded the Tuskegee Institute in Alabama? A, W, E, B, Du Bois, B, William Wells Brown, C, Marcus Garvey, or D, Booker T, Booker T. Washington. And if you guessed Booker T. Washington, you are correct. Tally your points up. Let me know what you got down below, and I hope you have enjoyed this. That's a little taste of what you can expect on You Just Might Like It. The restaurant that I tried today, yes, I just might like it, and I will definitely be back for the Sloppy Joe and the greens and probably some other dishes. So be sure to check them out. I, have, I hope you guys have enjoyed this segment. I am excited to share my vegan journey along with you guys and, you know, just try different things. You know, life is super short, so don't be afraid to try something new, something different. You know, veganism is not as hard as people make it out to be. Um, there's so many options. Restaurants are becoming more, uh, you know, adapt to having more vegan foods in them. But I'm going to be cooking with you guys and all sorts of stuff. So. Know that all of those things are in store, so be, be sure to stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for tuning in. I am so glad to be back and to be and to be doing something that I actually want to do. 
Um, of course, there's 150 questions. Am I still gonna be doing DIYs and all type of stuff? I will be sure to answer those very shortly in a life update video, okay? So thank you so much for tuning in. Subscribe if you enjoyed this video. I'll see you all really soon. Have a beautiful evening. Bye.